safety. Okay. This will get you kind of nervous, maybe. Hackers able to take control of a Jeep while it is moving. Look at this. Below a certain speed, they can control the Jeep steering as long as it's in reverse. Pop its locks, mess with the speedometer, and, of course, disable the brakes. Okay, hold on tight. Hold on. Oh, He's not getting out of that. He's not getting out of there. <laughs> kind of dramatic, I'd say. My next guest is one of those car hackers. Welcome, IO Actors Director of Vehicle Security Research, Chris Valasek. Chris, welcome to the program. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Now, you're the Director of secu Vehicle Security. Why, so why were you uh, hacking into somebody's car while they were driving it? Charlie and I are always about kind of pushing the boundaries and showing what's possible. And we're really the good guys. The bad guys don't tell you uh, about what's wrong so you can fix it. So we showed that we could hack a car, uh, work with Chrysler to get a patch out and get it fixed, and then show everyone uh, how we went about doing it and the implications of doing it. Okay, now was it relatively easy? No, this was actually an accumulation of three years of work, and we spent a, a whole calendar year working on the Jeep. So this isn't something that someone does in a weekend. Okay. Um, this is something that takes a long time to do. But what you've done is you've opened up to the world the possibility that someone's car could be driven off the road or stopped dead in its tracks. You've, open, you, you've shown people that this is possible. You put the fear of God into a lot of people. <laughs> well, I don't think we were going for the fear of God, but we do want to let the issues be known. I think for a long time people thought that hacking a car over a cellular network was impossible, and we wanted to show that um, you know, two, I think, bright guys with some time on their hands can uh, figure it out, and, and you obviously saw the results. Yeah. Now, you, you've, got a, you've got a fix for this. You've worked with Chrysler, and there is a fix for this situation. But the fix, I believe, involves the car. It's got to go back to the dealership. Is that correct? Um, there's a few options. You can take the car back to the dealership, and they'll install the fix for you for free. Uh, additionally, you can download the fix from the Internet and put it on a flash drive, put it into your car, and in 15 minutes, your car will be updated and fixed. Okay. Um, how did you... Did, were you paid to do this? Were you paid by Chrysler? No, we, uh, we did it because we wanted to show what was possible and uh, you know, we're inquisitive guys. We like investigating this, this, these systems and determining uh, if, if things are possible. And at the moment, you can only hack into a Chrysler, a Fiat Chrysler vehicle. You can't do a Porsche, a Mercedes or a Ford or whatever. Yeah, we, we only, uh, you know, we have a limited budget, so we only can get one car, and we chose the Jeep, and, and uh, it had a certain system in it used for infotainment and communication, so we only know about that system. That's not to say it's a Chrysler-only problem, but we only got to look at one car. You know, I've got a feeling that there's a lot of car makers going to be coming right after you saying, hey, work on my vehicle, please, because we don't want this happening to us. Have they asked you to work on other companies yet? Uh, no, but I work for a consultancy, uh, so I think we'll be more than happy to talk to them. I think you're in the money, young man. I, I think you're going to make some big bucks out of this. I really do, because th that video has been running all day long on Fox News and Fox Business. It's attracted a great deal of attention, and you've inspired a great deal of fear. You do realize that, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm sure there's a little bit of fear, but I'm more worried about someone texting and driving or someone mm -hmm. with a flat tire, right? This is really hard to do, and everyone else, you know, is on their cell phone when they're driving. So I think the threat of, um, you know, maybe a, a teenager texting is probably greater than someone like me hacking your car. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take your word for it, okay? <laughs> uh, Chris Valachuk, everybody, the guy who hacked into the Chrysler vehicles. Thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Okay. <laughs>